Aloha! I wonder what's coming up next. Let's see. Oh, we've got a weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting uh, Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come at Nick and Night. Aloha! I'm the glorious YouTube dog show, man. My way to be a carson. Kill out. Like the big eagles. Did they get in the way of uh, everybody's day? Whatever. It's a week of the really moon. And now, here he is, the man who thinks that the beer carson has too big of an ego to actually succeed in Hollywood. I mean, seriously. She used to be calm and cool. That was until, uh... He uh, went into the Academy Awards. Mr. Ellie Cunningham Mueller! Ha! Welcome to the week for the update. I'm Ellie Cunningham Mueller. It's all great. That was. <laughs> Mr. Tom Allen! Yes, boss. How many times do we have to go through this? You know what? Once he uh, got on the Academy Awards, not got into uh, the whole thing. Come on, man. I know. I'm sorry. It's just my mind is going everywhere lately. I understand that. But come on, man! Give it the program, okay? Okay, boss, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I got a new comment of the week uh, question for all of you folks. I'm sorry I uh, posted it a little bit late. You know, but, you know, I was having a hard time thinking of uh, a good question to ask you folks this week. You know, and uh, I was trying to get uh, some other things uh, done, but I finally got it up. You know, and this uh, week's question is a really good one, all right? Well, because the weather is actually getting warmer in many places around the world, you know, I wanted to ask you folks this one question, all right? What do you like to do when the weather outside gets warm? I want you to respond to that community uh, poll, you know, on my account, all right? Go to my account page after you're done watching this, you know, go to my community tab, and that uh, post, you know, in particular with uh, this week's uh, question, should be uh, the first Post that you will see, all right? All right, so please, make sure you do that, okay? Please. All right, and y'all know the drill by now. Where will get pinned, you know, uh, with the comments uh, anyway, that person will get uh, a chance to be eligible to become the grasshopper of the year. The grasshopper of the year gets acknowledged by the color of and the camera lady on New Year's Day, you know, on the World Wildness, during week, the update, and that person will also be, you know, one of, the uh, one of the uh, players or cast members of the Color Bee Crews count, all right? You'll be a part of the Color Bee Crews count, okay? So there you go. Also, you know, there's going to the shots by winners and things like that. Theme song is composed by Dominic Mac this piano, and he is really cool. He's also one of our shots by winners. Please check him out. He is a great musician. The Color Bee Crew and the Camel Lady, they're awesome at what they do, and they are great on this program and on their channels, by the way. I got some good news for you. you now the world around this is coming back. You now we just uh, started uh, production on uh, the new episodes. You know, uh, the car break crew, the camera lady, and I have just uh, resumed our production on the world around this, and we should uh, kick it back uh, in the high gear on this program next week. Okay, so please be on the lookout for that. You know, and you know what? Uh, Never Five Nine with his gameplays, the Barkers with his movie night, and uh, other things. The Bobby McCarthy Show and Bobby coming with the new, uh, new ways of doing the late night show and things like that. And finding Martin Maniac, Dr. Plus Zero, Sky's Dragon, Sophie Dragon, all things related to Dragon Tales. All right. Man, we have a lot to get through and so little time. So, let's get things started. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, What's up? What's up? It's Sophia Carson, a woman who just loves being famous. Well, she never runs away from the spotlight, but there you go. She was at the Academy Awards recently, and she wore a white ball gown with some jewelry. Sophia, stop making it about you. Come on! You're the reason why Diane Warren uh, didn't uh, win the Academy Awards a couple weeks ago. All right? And... 
hey, listen up, she has a very crazy network. Okay, it's just not crazy at all. Six million dollars. Wow. She really needs to do a major movie, and a real one as well. Now, not the, not the ones on Netflix, right? Because, let's be honest, right? Movies on Netflix aren't the uh, big deals at all, okay? Except if you're Adam Sandler, and you have a deal uh, worth $58 billion. All right? And, Sophia, I just want to say this to you one more time. Do not make everything all about you, okay? I mean, you're, you're the ambassador of uh, the UNICEF, all right? How could you let this happen? All right, when did you start to have the big ego? Gregor's MP, let's do a top eight list. This is it. <laughs> Top eight list. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real top eight list. All right. Now earlier we recorded the uh, you know the show with you know uh, a top eight list that had a lot of uh, technical difficulties. And that wasn't really the real top eight list. All right. This is the real top eight. So here we go. Tonight's category. You no, know, the real top eight list. Top eight reasons why Sophia Carson is the topic of tonight's week now update. Number eight, she only cares about herself. Number seven, she is losing her mind. Number six, she doesn't know what it means to share a spotlight. Number five, she got Hollywood advice from Taylor Swift. Number four, she secretly wants to be good friends with Susan Cain. Number three, Sophia Carson wants those late night talks on TV. Number two, she doesn't know, or she still doesn't know that we not they exist. And number one, her big ego made Diane, or made Diane Warren lose her only chance to win an Academy Award. That's better. Yes, it is. Thank you, boys. I'm glad that we uh, corrected uh, the situation. Now, hashtag week not there, hashtag LV of late night, hashtag Red Lebanon, hashtag LV of Adult Swim. Like the thing, subscribe, and give out a share. You can check out the comment section down below. We'll be back with uh, Edward Scott, another encore presentation of the World Ramblers, and of course, talking time. All this plus, actually, just all this, whatever. We have more week now update after this, blah blah blah, here it is, you're about right. Go, 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 go! Ooh, what you say? Ooh, that you- Some creatures landed from outer space, they gave up a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night. You want your carpet tomorrow? Hey, yo, get this. They want delivery tomorrow. <laughs> you kidding? Come on. You really want your new carpet tomorrow? Okay, just call Empire today. I promise you'll have your new carpet tomorrow. Not only that, but with your good credit, you won't make a payment for 90 days. Oh, boy. Delivery tomorrow? <laughs> Come on, will you? 588 to 300 Empire. Empire today, carpet tomorrow. before, you know, we have uh, begun production, you know, you know, the camera lady, the color baby crew, and I, you know, we have begun our production on the new uh, series of episodes, you know, for the World of Adventist, you know, and they'll be uh, coming at you next week on this program, all right, but you still need uh, to see the World of Adventist this, so we're going to show you uh, you know, encore uh, presentations of the world around us, all right? 
You've probably seen them before, you know, but we're, but we're going to show them to you again this week. And then next week, we'll show you what the new episodes of the World Dragon is. But until then, how many of you can remember this performance? All right, bro. Well, how about uh, this simple remedy, huh? The world around us. All right, here we go. Sorry, I couldn't stop thinking about that dream that I had last night. Well, if it's about the Legend of Zelda stick, then don't even think about it. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Now keep eating. Yeah, food is important for you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so do it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Ah, new new these days. <laughs> This has been another installment of the World of Madness, recommended by every doctor in North America. World of Madness is a production of Cassie Shoes in association with Nick at Night. On late night TV breaks, we fix it. Just as Doctor Orders. was incredible and by the way if anybody out there you know wants to give uh, the camera lady and the color lady crew uh, some awards for their work on this program then please give us a call here or uh, please leave us a comment uh, underneath this episode well folks it's time once again for a little something that we like to call talking time which we do every single night on this program we talk about the things I have uh, briefly uh, mentioned you know, during what's up. You know, so let's do it together, okay? Here we go. Do you know what time it is? Yeah, see, it's talking time, where he talks about of what he's going to talk about. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> Sophia Carson thinks that everything is all about her. During the uh, Academy Awards, a few uh, weeks ago, Sophia Carson appeared royal, so wearing a white off-the-shoulder ball gown by Jim at East uh, Valley. You know what? At off with now listen to this, right? A chubbard necklace with 122 carats in emeralds and over 92 uh, carats of diamonds. All right. Now, apparently, she wanted to go all out because Diane Warren, you know, was being nominated for Best Original Song with, you know, you guessed it, applause from Tell It Like a Woman. Now, here's the thing. All right. Here's the thing. 
All right? You know, Diane Warren was nominated for an Academy Award 14 times. All right? 14 times. All right? You know, and every time that he has been up for an Academy Award, you know, she has lost. All right? I'm serious. He has lost. You know, you know, Diane thought that she was going to have you know, a chance to win an Academy Award until Sophia Carson uh, outstaged her. You know, by showing uh, off uh, her newest outfit. You know, and shame, Sophia. Shame. It was supposed to be all about Diane Warren because she did all the work. Sophia, all you did was just uh, sing along with Diane. That's all you did. Okay? And you're taking the credit for everything? Please. Just please. And it doesn't change the fact that uh, the kid has a net worth of $6 million. Please. You know what, folks? This thing is really getting on my nerves. Okay? You know, she went from being a guest star on Austin and Alley to doing Descendants, you know, what, to thinking that she uh, could do everything in the entire world, huh? Well, I got news for you, Sophia. It's not all about you. It's never about you. Come on now. Sometimes, folks, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about these topics. I don't know. All right, and I'm sorry for the mishap uh, that took place uh, during this uh, program this evening, but I don't know. I don't know. Tomorrow night, uh, Andy Samberg, Wednesday, General Ortega, Thursday, Adam Sandler, and then Friday, Taylor Swift. You know, we'll have classic installments of the World Ramness all this week. Next week, we'll have new episodes of the World Ramness. Miles Tucker and Blinken will be on board here on Friday. And, of course, we'll have uh, the uh, comment of the week, and we'll have everything uh, situated. All right? It's going to be a, a good week, all right? Despite what you have just uh, heard, you know, uh, during uh, this program, the rest of this week is going to be fantastic. All right? I promise you. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm out. Peace. Pro wall by pro wall. Some creatures landed from outer space. They gave up a funny green light. They said they traveled to our planet just to watch Nick at night.